Hey again, welcome to Sunday School. For today's challenge, I am going to try to eat six of these saltine crackers and then try to whistle. If I try to whistle after I have eaten six of these, it's gonna be pretty hard because my mouth is so dry. Let's see if I can do it. Ready, here's one. I did it. I thought it was going to be harder than that. A long, 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 long time ago, there were the people called the children of Israel. And the children of Israel got in some trouble and they weren't going to be allowed to rebuild the temple that got destroyed for 70 years. That is a long time. Well, 70 years finally went by, and there was this guy named Zerubbabel, and he was able to rebuild the temple. And the people were so happy, and they were so excited that they were cheering, and they were making such a loud noise that people could hear it from way, way far away. Some of the people who were older were even crying because they were so happy to finally see the temple be rebuilt that was destroyed over 70 years before. Well, the people started to use the temple and they paid special attention to how they were obeying what God said to do. And only the Levites and the sons of Aaron were allowed to do the temple worship. But you know, the children of Israel, they started marrying people that they weren't supposed to marry. And they started disobeying God even more. Well, 50 years after the temple was rebuilt and after the people were um, following what God said to do, they turned away from God. And there was a guy named Ezra. He's like the hero in our story today because you know what? He was a scribe and he loved God's word and he loved God's law. And he purposed in his heart that he was going to study and do the law. Well, there was a king and he commissioned Ezra. He gave him authority. He gave him a blessing and he gave him money to go and restore the temple worship that the people had started disobeying God with. Well, Ezra came in and he started to obey God and teach the law to the children of Israel. And they were so excited that they decided that they wanted to make a covenant with God. Just like Abraham and Moses had done before, they wanted to also make a covenant with God. And Ezra came and he restored the temple worship. But you know what? He fasted and prayed and was close to God. And you know what he had to do? He had to study God's word. And he loved the word of God. He wanted to obey everything that God said. And God used him for it. And you know what? We should listen and obey what God says every day. It's important to read God's word and to learn more about him. Because you know what? He really loves us. Even though the children of Israel didn't always listen to what God said and they were rebellious, they repented toward God and he redeemed them because he loved them, boys and girls. And God loves you. And Ezra did what was right. And you can do what's right. There's a verse. It's in 2 Timothy. That's in the New Testament. It's 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So you know what you can do? Read your Bible and pray every day. So you can grow, grow, grow closer to the one that loves you so much, and that's God. Let's go ahead and pray. 
Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you so much for these boys and girls and how awesome they are. I pray that they would learn to love you more every day and that they would want to study your word just like Ezra studied, God. I thank you for Ezra and the story that he gives and that he restored the temple worship and just everything that you teach us from the children of Israel, Lord. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Ready to sing some songs? This week, the first song that we're going to sing is Isn't He Wonderful? It goes like this. Isn't he wonderful, wonderful, wonderful? Isn't Jesus my Lord wonderful? Eyes have seen, ears have heard, it's recorded in God's word. Isn't Jesus my Lord wonderful? Great job, let me see a cheesy smile. I think you can do better than that. Let's sing that one more time, ready? Isn't he wonderful, wonderful, wonderful? Isn't Jesus my Lord wonderful? Eyes have seen, ears have heard, it's recorded in God's word. Isn't Jesus my Lord wonderful? Great singing. The next song that we're gonna sing is There is a book that came from God. It kind of reminds me of this song. Um, that is about the dog named Bingo, but we're going to sing about the B-I-B-L-E, my favorite book today. It goes like this. There is a book that came from God. The Bible is its name. Oh, B-I-B-L-E, 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 the Bible is its name. Oh, now we got to take all the letters out. You know how this song goes. Ready? There is a book that came from God, the Bible is its name, oh, I-B-L-E, 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 the Bible is its name, oh, there is a book that came from God, the Bible is its name, oh, B-L-E, 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 the Bible is its name, oh, whew, almost there, there is a book that came from God, the Bible is its name, oh, L-E, 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 the Bible is its name, oh, there is a book that came from God, the Bible is its name, oh, E, E, the Bible is its name, oh, ooh, I messed up, ready, there is a book that came from God, the Bible is its name, oh, the Bible is its name, oh, what an awesome song. The next song that we're going to sing is a new one. It's called Sing to the King. Are you ready? Sing to the King who is coming to reign. Glory to Jesus, the Lamb that was slain. Life and salvation his empire shall bring. Joy to the nations when Jesus is King. Come, let us sing a song, a song declaring that we belong to Jesus. He is all we need. Lift up a heart of praise, sing now with voices raised to Jesus. Sing to the King. Good one. We will have to learn that song. Maybe we can sing it again next week. 